find the volume of the solid when the region bounded by x is equal to 2 times the sine of the quantity pi times y over 2 plus 2 and the line x equals 2, the line y equals 2, and the line y equals 0 is rotated about the line x equals 2. Well, let's begin by trying to graph what we are given um, in the question so that we can visualize what's going to happen. So let's switch over to a graphing calculator real fast. Okay, so we have our equation x equals 2 times the sine of pi times y divided by 2 plus 2. x equals 2. Okay. y equals 2. And y equals 0. And the question is having us rotated about the line x equals 2. So it's in between these two green dotted lines. So it's going to be this region right here being rotated about this axis. In other words, it's going to look something like this. So because it's being rotated about a vertical line, we're going to need to have our integral in terms of y. Well, the general equation is, so that's a plus. So we know that the volume is going to be pi times our integral, and we're going to integrate with respect to y. We have to determine what our radius value is, and we're going to square it. And we also have to determine the lower and upper bounds for integration. The lower and upper bounds of integration are a little bit easier to determine by looking at the graph. We can see that because it's bound between y equals 2 and y equals 0, or the x-axis, our y values are going to go from 0 to 2. And now because the section of the graph that we were that we are rotating is really from this section right here is where the original function falls we have our regular function as the outer radius and our inner radius is the axis of revolution x equals 2 so we're going to have 2 sine of pi times y divided by 2. We have to move some things here. Plus 2 from our equation that we have. And then we're subtracting from that um, x equals 2. So we're going to subtract 2. And that's going to represent our radius. So we're going to square it. And as before, we're going to be differentiating with respect to y, or the height of each disk is dy. All right, so notice this plus 2 and this minus 2, they cancel each other out. That's a little bit more helpful. So then we still have pi times the integral from 0 to 2. And if we take the square and distribute it through, we're going to have a 4 and then sine squared of pi times y divided by 2. I'm going to rewrite this y to make it look more clear. There we go. dy. Okay, we can also take this 4 and move it outside. So let's do that really quick. We have a 4 here, and we can remove it from the integrand.
And since we have the integrand of a trig function squared with an angle, let's actually try to get rid of the exponent using a power reducing identity of trigonometry. And we're going to end up using sine squared of u, which is equivalent to 1 minus cosine of 2u divided by 2. So we are going to substitute this expression in for sine squared um, in our integrand. So we're still going to have our 4 pi out in front and then the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 minus cosine of our angle. We have, we have a 2 before that u value, so we have 2 and then we have pi times y divided by 2, and then that whole thing is over 2. We still have the dy. Notice these two 2 values cancel each other out. We can also pull this 1 half out and have 4 times 1 half times pi and then the integral from 0 to 2 of 1 minus cosine of pi y dy. Okay, this is much easier to integrate. And we can simplify what's out in front. 4 times 1 half is 2, so we have 2 pi. And now we can integrate with respect to y. We'll have a y in place of the 1, and then we'll have minus. Now, the integral of cosine is sine, so we have a sine, keep the pi y as the angle, but we also have to multiply by 1 over pi because remember when you take the derivative, you would need to apply the chain rule. You would take the derivative of sine, which is cosine, but then you would have to take the derivative of pi times y, and you would get an extra pi there. So if we put a 1 divided by pi out in front, the pi and the 1 over pi will cancel out, leaving us back with cosine of pi y that we started with. And now we are going to evaluate this from 0 to 2. So we still have a 2 pi here. And then we have 2 minus 1 over pi times the sine of 2 pi. And then we're going to subtract 0 minus 1 over pi times the sine of 0, because 0 times pi will give you 0. So we're going to have a 2 pi, and we're going to have 2 minus, well, the sine of 2 pi is 0. So this term goes away because it's equal to 0. Then we have a 0 here, and, well, the sine of 0 is also 0. So this cancels out as well. So we just have 2 pi times 2, which is equal to... 4 times pi as our volume, or answer choice D.